Okay, what are we doing first? Hi, this is Jan Beeson King, and I'm going to give Kathy a tea leaf teacup reading with mediumship. So, hi, Kathy. Hello, Jen. Have you had one of these before? <laughs> no, this is my first time. Okay, <laughs> okay great, fantastic. <laughs> so, while she's drinking her tea, we will um, do a little bit of a card spread so she doesn't burn her mouth with the hot <laughs> tea. <laughs> okay. So I want you to hold these cards up to your heart center, tap them a couple of times, it gets the old energy out and your energy in, then shuffle them and then spread them in front of yourself. You might need to move your cup a little bit, yeah. So there we go. All right. Shuffle? Mm-hmm. They're a little hard to shuffle, they're quite big. do great so um, just pass me one at a time face down until I tell you when to stop one more great okay put them together and then I'll take them all right So this is called the Celtic spread or Celtic spread, however you want to pronounce it. It goes like this. And the card in the middle is a, is a significant card. So your reading revolves around this card, okay? okay. So this can all combine with a tea leaf reading. Okay. So we'll just open that. Oh, okay. This one here. Sexuality. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So... Uh, the meaning of that to me is that um, you know you're out there and you're open for a relationship but uh, nothing's happening right now and you just want it to you just don't know what's going to happen in the future so um, you're putting good energy out for that okay would you understand that yes okay great so we'll go to the crossing influence here parenting and children are the crossing, mm -hmm. crossing influence meaning so okay so this means that um, in the past, you don't think that you have been, a, you know, a, a sufficient enough parent or a yes. nurturing enough parent. Yes. That's absolutely not true. Spirits come to tell you that you have done everything for your children that you could have done in life, and now that they're adults, that it's up to them to do what they want. So you're not responsible for children after 18 years of age, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and they want, they want to let you know that. But um, you also, the Spirit's also saying you felt that when the children were really young, you still felt like now that you never did enough for them. But yes. you did, absolutely. You know, you were there for them. You look at, he said, look at the other mothers around you and realize that you were the mother that the children needed. Okay? Did you understand that? Yes. Okay, good. Yeah, so um, so no guilt and no regrets, okay, about your children and raising your children. And uh, Spirit's come in and said, uh, everybody has their own path in life. After we leave the nest, it's up to, it's up to us individually to make our lives the way we want to make them. Okay. And if we choose not to make a good life, well, that's not anybody else's fault except our own. <laughs> and, if, and if we choose to make a better life for ourselves, that's still our responsibility to do that. So this is what Spirit's saying. Okay, you all right? Yes. Okay, good. So they just want to kind of stay on that parent and child in there. Child there. So, um, you know, uh, going forward in the future, it's not up to you to nurture everybody and look after everybody. It's up to them, okay? But it, it's up to you to be there. Mm -hmm. You're still going to be there. But um, you don't need to take on uh, extra roles and responsibilities that you've already gone through in your life. You have to give a bit of responsibility back. Would you understand that? Yes. Yeah, okay, all right. So they said take a big sigh because the way you're thinking is the right way. Do you understand what they're saying there? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, okay, all right. Just have to stop here. There's a, like a big waft of spirit energy just <laughs> came in there. <laughs> 
you. Okay, so a gentleman who came in before was uh, like tall, um, uh, nice complexion. Uh, he he has shown me his side profile. He had large nostrils for some reason. <laughs> 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 Could you understand who this is? Okay. Uh, possibly. Okay, I'm just going to go a little bit more. <laughs> quite a character. Um, uh, thought himself uh, quite charming, and he was actually charming. And uh, he's showing me, I would say, at the age of around 50 years old, like he's showing me at his best time in life. He, um, he also has dark hair. Harvey. 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 Okay, and Harvey is your uncle? Uh, no, he's my past love. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Or... Okay, and I'll, I'll just give you a little okay, bit more. Okay, a little more. bit more, okay? yes. Okay, and so he has, um, like, uh, tight... His hair is quite tight knit. It's d very dark hair. Cut, what should I say, cut short. Oh, I need more information. Okay, all right, we'll keep going here. Um, he was he was quite a clown and he felt himself to be quite a ladies' man or he, he was uh, kind of, um, I would say, he was dashing. He didn't... Um, there wasn't anything in his mind that he couldn't do. Harvey. Okay, okay, it is Harvey. It sounds so much like Harvey. <laughs> okay, all right. When he, yeah, when he set his mind to doing something, he would do something. He was also, um, I'm saying that he has this kind and considerate side to him as well. Um, and he also had quite a determinated business side to him too. Harvey. Okay, all right. Thank you, Harvey, for coming <laughs> in. Okay, so Harvey's the one that just blasted this information <laughs> to you. Okay, so you, would you understand it would come from Harvey? Yes. Okay, all right. Okay, all right. And then um, I had this other um, scene that came through, and I, I, I didn't quite capture it right, but it was, um, this is uh, on more of the sad side. Um, it was something to do with a, a gunshot wound or somebody being passing from a, a gunshot or... Um, like um, that to me is like an instant passing. Um, my son. Okay. Had an instant passing, but not from a gunshot. Okay. All right. So um, I want to keep on going with this mm -hmm. here. Okay. All right. Um, let's just put the gunshot aside for a minute, mm -hmm. and I want to go to this other young man who came in. And uh, this man, who, young man who came in was quite wiry. Would you understand this? Yes. Okay, so this would be your son? Sounds like. Okay. Um, and um, what he came in to say was that, oh, okay, just what Harvey's saying. So he's actually coming behind Harvey. And uh, he, he wanted to say uh, just exactly what he said. I, I'm responsible for my own life and my own actions. Okay, nobody else is responsible. And now he's laughing. He's saying, because I'm so in love with where I am now. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's your son's name? Benjamin. Benjamin. Oh. Benjamin is actually, and an, I feel that he's an old soul. Um, so yes. when he when he passed or when he was passing, he knew he was going back home. Yes. Okay, yeah. So he said, you know, home is where the heart is. He said, mm -hmm. My heart was here with you yes. for a certain number of years. Oh my goodness, it's making me <laughs> gotta take his emotion back. He said, but now my heart is home, and my heart is home with my family. Oh, yes. And so um, yes. uh, now he must have known Harvey very well. Uh, no. Okay, because no. he's come with Harvey. Yes. So he must in have spirit, been ac acquainted yes. to him. In spirit, yes. Yeah. Okay, so he's um, he's right there, and he said family is all around. He said it doesn't, know, doesn't matter what, it doesn't have to be blood family, but it can be family, and family are all, all around. <laughs> are you okay, Kathy? <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay. I am okay, thank you. All right, <laughs> good. Oh, Benjamin, thank you very much for coming. It's taken him a long time to come through. Um, mm -hmm. because he um, he's kind of like um, I want to say 
He's kind of like, you know, um, in a windstorm where the tree goes all different ways. It doesn't yes. know which way to go, and yes. that's what he's like. Mm -hmm. And he's still like that there. He says he still has many things to do. Oh, yes. But he said he took this, took this opportunity, and he said, this opportunity, oh, my goodness. He, he uh, sometimes he's really um, uh, up himself, <laughs> right? Because he, he said, I made this opportunity happen for you to come in, you know, for oh, mum, for you to come here. I made this opportunity. You. And if you weren't at that time and the place where we had arranged this, he said this opportunity would never have come along. He said, so I'm telling you right now, it was me that brought you here, okay? I believe that, yeah. yes, thank okay. you. All right, we've got to stop and have a drink here. <laughs> Sounds like that. All right. Um, okay, what else is he going to tell me? He's just so busy. Yes. He's busy. He's like, I hope so. Yeah, I says, can, can you just sit there for a minute? He goes, no, I don't need to. I'm going to do my own that thing. That sounds like him. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm off. I'll come back, but I'm off, okay? But, and Harvey's oh. just sitting there. You know, with his arms crossed, going, "Yeah, <laughs> I did a good thing here. I did a good thing." So, oh, thank yeah, you. yeah. All right. So, this is parenting and child. So, most of this is around this parenting and child. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. All right. We'll go to the next one here. The next one is like how it appears in a child, and so with the inner child here, it's telling me that. Um, you are at the point where you you know you need to do things for yourself and yes. not for anybody else, right? Yes. And you know no matter what happens in this life, you are just looking after you and you just need to look after you, okay? Yeah, and, yeah. and that's what you need to be doing, right? So not looking after everybody else because you've done this, right? You've been there, done that. You're still, you know, you're still a parent mm -hmm. and you've still got children and love your children. But you certainly um, need to go on the track of um, doing what you want to do, right? Having a good life for yourself, not yes. being accountable to anybody else, Yes. right? Which uh, people have tried to make you be accountable. Mm -hmm. yeah, yes. Yeah. And you just need to just get rid of that. Okay. That's negative energy for you. So, and, and your son's saying... What I did was my responsibility, nobody else's responsibility. And he says, people don't get that. Yes. Yeah. Very Absolutely. true. Yes. Yeah. So he said, I don't know how I can tell you to make people get it. He said, but I don't need to. I just need you to know I'm responsible for me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So this is, um, this one here is your true inner self. And he's just laughing about this. He said, you're going to be surprised with what comes up. <laughs> and he said, I'm glad we have this, like this collection of, of cards because he says, I bought these cards in for you. Not Harvey. He's going, but <laughs> I bought these in for you. He's really taking ownership of this reading. Oh, yeah. thank yeah. you, Benjamin. Okay. Oh, My all son. right. Laughter. Okay. <laughs> oh, I need lots of that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he said, you do. You do need lots of it. Yeah, I yeah. do. And you need to be in, um, in the presence of people who are uplifting and have lots of energy. Yes. I need lots of this. Yeah. yeah. He said, I, I, I want to give you it. You know, I want to give you love and laughter. So he said, I'm, oh my goodness. Did, did he play um, baseball or? No. Okay. Because he's got a, he's got a baseball and a baseball bat, and he's just hocking it to you, right? <laughs> <laughs> the energy. He's oh, giving you balls and balls and balls you. of energy. Thank you. I yeah. need it. Yeah. So he <laughs> said he loves he loves your laughter. He oh, loves to hear you laugh. Thank you, my son. Yeah. And he said, you haven't been doing it enough. Nope. But he said, today is a good day. And he said, I felt your energy as you were coming, which was getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Your energy was building up and up and up. You must have been thinking about your son as you were coming here. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're just going to go to as, um, uh, like, the, the past, right? Okay. All right. 
in the past there you're wanting your dreams to come true and they actually have started to come true you're in the space where you feel comfortable and safe with yourself yes and so you know you are definitely using that in a child and you de you've definitely started to look after yourself and kind of let other people go that don't need to be around you yes. you know that bring you down mm -hmm. so um, and you've brought yourself up and also um, <coughs> This is your son saying, because you have, um, oh, he said this before when he did come. He said, because you have that uh, innate ability to connect with spirit and you know that the divine source is real out there and mm -hmm. you're working with the divine source, he said, my passing was actually way easier for you yes. than it was for everybody else around. Yes. So he said, um, you accepted that passing whereas other people did not accept it yes so he said you are uh, miles ahead uh, in your grief for me than other people are okay thank you you're welcome it's a smart young man yourself. he is yeah. he's always he's always been intelligent and handsome and yeah so smart yeah yeah he is and <laughs> <laughs> he knows it too. <laughs> He's going, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah he knew it. Yeah. And I let him know. Yeah. I told him over and over. Yes, yeah. Okay, he said he did have a lot of encouragement from you as he was growing up, and that was with the parent and child, and you thinking that you didn't encourage him enough, yes. and you did. And he said, you just said it, Mum. So he said, <laughs> believe it. Believe it now that you said it. Oh. Okay. All right, so this one here is the immediate future. Oh my goodness. We start off with that sexuality and parenting child, romantic partner. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it said that uh, if nobody's in the scenes now, there is somebody coming into the scenes. It'll be a little bit rocky at first, but down the road, it'll get lighter and brighter. However, he says that's with you putting up boundaries. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, he said you need to have uh, good boundaries, which you do. He said you just need to use your good boundaries. Okay. Okay, so that seems to be the immediate future. And he said, ask us to help because he said nobody asks us to help. No, he said nobody's asked him to help, right? <laughs> yes, um, because it's still ingrained in my head uh, how I was raised, how I grew up with our culture. Mm -hmm. And when there's a passing, um, four seasons, one year, mm -hmm. we, are, we do not speak of, we do not um, cry. Mm -hmm. um, and that is to not hold them back from over there, yes. from that yes. side. Yeah. I believe otherwise, but it's still very right. much ingrained yeah. that yeah. I don't want him to come back. I don't want him to come back until he is, as a parent, Yeah, stay there until you're done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whatever you need to learn, mm -hmm. do what you need to do. Yeah, and, and he says he's quite happy here, but he says, I, I just want to tell you something. And he said, and... Um, <laughs> and he said, and, and this is quite common, and, and uh, he said, Jen tells lots of people this, but he said, it's really true. And said, what I want to tell you is that the tears that you do shed for me and those emotional feelings that you share for me, it's like fuel for a vehicle. It will put me further down on my spiritual path. Do you understand what he's saying? Uh, yes, I yeah, do. Yeah. So he said, the tears won't hold me back. And... Um, he said the tears will set me forward. He said, but in different cultures and different religions, there is different beliefs. He said, yes. and that and that's fine, right? Because people need, uh, some people need to have different beliefs. Mm -hmm, or mm -hmm. we all grow up in a culture. He's saying from the time we were, you know, yay high, mm -hmm. to um, and we do, like you say, things ingrained mm -hmm. in us. And he said it's kind of dispelling some of that that you are you are doing. And he said, and I want to dispel that to you. He said, um, 
you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go around and I wouldn't tell, this is him, he said, I wouldn't come to other people and tell them this because they might not be ready for it, but you are because you've, you know, exponentially mm -hmm. grown in spirit. So he said that just to let you know that the tears and the, the, the grief that you feel for me, that's fuel for my spiritual growth. Okay. He did come to me mm -hmm. um, in a vision when I was very s I was really sick. Mm -hmm. And he came to me in a vision about beliefs. Okay. And he told me so much of it is man made. Yes. Absolutely. And, and he's just reiterating that. It yeah. was very surprising but yet not surprising. Mm -hmm. because I did my best to teach my kids what is and what isn't yes type yeah. thing so yeah. so when he told me that it just confirmed everything yeah to me yeah and you are on the right track right and and you've always been on the right track with parenting and so yeah good and he can just confirmed it again now so <laughs> he, he said Mom, sometimes I have to repeat things to you to, <laughs> yes. to get it to yes. me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's very true. <laughs> Won't deny that. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. And so he said, you know, I'll come again. And he said, and I will say the same thing because uh, you need to go home and you need to just, you know, go over what we've said. Process. You process it. And, um, and he said, you know, connecting with me is fine, but connecting with me through somebody like a, a medium is fine, but not all the time, yes. right? Yeah, yes. and he said, you already know that, but I just need to tell you that. You connect with me when you think about me every day, and I'm there connecting with you. Okay, so I'm just gonna ask him to give me a little bit of information on how he, um, how you know that he's connecting with you. All oh, right. Um, okay. Um, when you when you go for a walk, do sometimes you come across and pick up a little feather? He's got he's showing me a feather. I opened my door one one morning onto my balcony, mm -hmm. and there is this little tiny little multicolored feather that mm -hmm. I not from any of the birds that live in my area. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. So he said that was delivered to you from me. Okay. And he said when you go walking. He said, I want you to go walking. I want you to go walking. And he said, you know, you'll be surprised what will drop out of the sky. And <laughs> another feather drop out of the sky, that'll be me too. He said, you have to, <laughs> you have to remember, it takes a hell of a lot of energy yes. <laughs> to do this, okay? So he said, I don't want you to be out there watching for a feather. <laughs> but when it comes, it'll come. Oh. And, and you'll know who it is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, he's he's always been funny. Mm -hmm. He's always been humorous. Um, d he he showed me his his sneakers and laces. Did he not did he always trip over his laces or did he have problems with his laces on his sneakers? Yeah. Um they he didn't. T he would tie them so he wouldn't have to untie them. Mm -hmm. Like to continuously untie them, tie mm -hmm. them. Tie. So he would do that, or he would lose them. Mm -hmm. For some reason, he always <laughs> managed to <laughs> lose his shoelaces. Well, that's what I see. I see shoelaces in his shoes, and they're not lot where they're supposed to be yeah. right? they're all over the place mm -hmm. and so um he said my life was a bit of a tangle like that you know a little bit disorganized yes but he said um okay he said you walk down the road or walk in the mall and you see some young man with disarray shoelaces like i had he said i will be there <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> that's the, the oddest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> but but he, he's got a really good sense of humor. Because uh, yeah. he knows I like shoes. Okay, okay then. <laughs> I look at people's shoes. Okay, I do. Yeah. Oh, how do you? I okay. do. Okay. When, I'm, when, I'm, yeah. when I'm places, I yeah. really do. I have this little thing. I look at people's shoes just to see what they're wearing. That's why he said that, right? Because <laughs> you should be noticing. I would never notice anybody's shoes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Oh. So then that's an, for him, that's another connection with you, okay? Oh, thank you. So these are the here and now cards, and this is the current state. 
Uh huh. So trust your intuition. Mm. And he's saying, with all of this, you do trust your intuition. Mm -hmm. And he said, because you trust your intuition, he said, I'm able to come and connect with you in an easy manner. He said, you know, heart, he said, it's actually heart to heart, mum, that we connect. Um, and he wants you to use your intuition with this romantic partner. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. When you see somebody, you'll know. If you see somebody and they are friendly with you, well, you'll know right away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, and uh, your intuition plays a lot in your life as well with yes. people around you. Oh, yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. You can be attracted, uh, absolutely attracted to one person, and then the next person's like, don't even sit by me. Yes. Yeah, totally, very true. Yeah, yeah, and that's pretty strong with you, Kathy, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Or if somebody sits down beside you and you don't want to be there, you will get <laughs> up and walk away, won't I you? I just did that recently. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I just did that recently. Yeah. And he said, good for you, Mum, because he said, you're living in your truth and your true self because you don't need to be talking to someone that you don't yep. feel comfortable with. Yeah, it was on yeah. the sea train. Oh, my goodness. Okay. All right, so... um. You know, he's just kind of reiterating the things you're doing, right, in mm -hmm. your life, which are the good things. All right, so this one is home, social, and environment. Family harmony. Okay. Ooh. So with him coming through, he wants you to know that he is still very much a part of the family. Yes. And then the, the, the family is harmonious. And so um, now there's a little child in your family that um, talks to somebody. Do you understand that? No. Okay. Because um, do you have you have grandchildren? Yes. Okay. So you have a little girl. I only have one girl. One girl. The rest are boys. Oh, okay. And how old's the little girl? She just turned four. Yeah. Okay. That's her. So he he's talking to her. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> good. So um, when she has a conversation by herself. He said, oh, she's it's talking Uncle to ben. me. Yeah. And he said, don't tell her off for talking to herself. <laughs> <laughs> That's Ashley. Yeah. That's the mum. Okay. Okay. So, uh, yeah, she has an old soul too. Uh, so he said there is a connection there with him. And um, he would like you to take a photo of him and give it to her. Give it to yeah. her. Whoa, he's bringing lots of emotion in there. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, if you could do that. Yes. It's the family harmony part, all right? Oh, and that, because that's the home, social, and environment. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is uh, your hopes and fears. Body movement. So, with body movement, you feel like you need to be getting out and doing yes. more physically, mm -hmm. right? He, and he, he's funny, he said, You're at that age, mum, where, you know, <laughs> the, the oil in the parts is seizing up. <laughs> Yes, that's very true. <laughs> and he said, that's why I'm encouraging you to get out and walk as well. You know, like... But I do, all, that's all I do is walk. Yeah. And I go to the gym. Okay. Well, um, he, but that's not every day. It's, oh, okay. It, but walking is an everyday thing because yeah. I travel transit. Yeah. So I have to walk. Yeah. So, oh, okay. Okay. A little bit more. Okay? okay. Maybe a little bit more on the exercise. He's just saying, I want you to keep it up. So yes. you, you keep fit and you feel fit. And when you feel good, you feel happy. Oh, yes. All right. That's Very what true. he's saying. Yeah. He said, there come, there's periods of time where you don't do anything mm -hmm. and you don't feel good and you feel down. He yes. Says, you, that's when you need to get out and get that oil going in that body. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking about that Maybe. this morning because I woke up with, because of the arthritis, mm -hmm. I have this pain. And I was telling myself, now today would be a good day to go to the gym. I should have mm -hmm. went to the gym. Mm -hmm. Well, it's Friday. It's usually my scheduled day, but okay. it just, yeah. I was being lazy. Yeah. And I was just thinking about that this morning. Today okay. would have been a good day. <laughs> And I didn't go. So he says, don't put <laughs> just off. Right? <laughs> yeah. Telling you off there. Okay, this is the outcome. Okay, awakening your true self. And he said, uh, everything you've gone through uh, up to this point, you have realized that it's not all you, right? It's, it's, it's not your problem and your issues. It's other people's problems and issues. So he said, awakening your true self. He said, with spirit, you realize that. Um, we are there 
like he said mm -hmm. before other people don't realize that we're really here so he said your spiritual journey is getting bigger and bigger and bigger right you're getting you're getting to know us he said you're getting to know us and the spirit world more and more and more yes and so that's really awakening your true self and that's really who you are underneath everything okay he said you're a beautiful soul he said uh and and i'm so proud to be in your soul family <laughs> Wow, he's quite philosophical. <laughs> he is. He yeah. is. He's always been that way. Yes. I like to think he gets it from me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, when you do the cards, when we do the card spread and I get the cards back, I always pick out one or two or three cards. Mm -hmm. And then that's usually the people that come in. There's usually two or three. So two people came in today that um, were, you know, like you really didn't know. So this one would be from Harvey. Oh, beauty. He oh. said, you think you're not beautiful at times. He said, you are. There's beauty inside and outside. And there's beauty in all of us. He said, you are the most beautiful person I've ever seen and I've ever been with. So he said, <laughs> please don't, uh, don't like, don't think you're not beautiful because you are. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. And this is from your son kindness Aww. he said you have so much kindness you have kindness for everybody he said um, <laughs> he said mum you are so kind to me that I didn't understand it I didn't understand you know the the kind heart that you had and that you were giving me chances and chances and chances he said but I really appreciate that he said everybody around you knows you're kind and he said I'm very proud of you now that you have boundaries with that <laughs> kindness this before you didn't no. yeah he said so you keep up those kind boundaries okay and he said you always will be kind and you always use your intuition but he said you must use those boundaries as well okay Thank you. you're welcome so I'm going to just ask him to sit aside and then now we'll just do the tea leaf reading. Okay, what do I do with the tea again? Okay, is so. This, is this enough or too much? Uh, just try to drink a little bit more. Okay, and then swish it all around. Okay. Yep. And then uh, just pour the residue in and then swish it around again. Pour the residue. Yeah, in, into here, yep. And then just leave a little bit in there and swish it around again really like you do it around a lot <laughs> and then tip it upside down in your cup just like this yep. or do i put it on top no tip the cup upside down perfect okay and so um when we do this there re really isn't any particular way we don't spin it around okay. twice you can if you want but you know, it's it doesn't really matter. Mm -hmm. What matters is that your energy is in there. It's in there. You drank the tea. You know, you touched the cup. Mm -hmm. So that was that was the energy in there. Okay. Well, I see a horse in here for some reason. Oh, I have plenty of those in oh, my you? apartment. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> I have pictures. Yeah, and yes. I see this horse's head. Yes. Yeah. Um, very big head mm -hmm. like very strong strong horse okay. yes yeah okay was this horse did you know this horse or is this a picture you have this is one of my pictures that i've named him it looks like a him mm -hmm. it is a um him. yeah i named him ancient wisdom because he's old he is he is and he's come through here now and he's come to um, give you support okay and uh, share with you and what he wants to share with you is that um, yeah he said you have had a lot of soul experiences you are an mm -hmm. old soul and he said uh, <laughs> he said he just likes to be in your presence <laughs> thank you Aww. yeah yeah and so um, because he's so so uh, like strong and mm -hmm. big yes. he said you do feel safe with him around yes I do yeah yeah mm -hmm. okay yes I do all right so he's also said that you have achieved a lot more in your life than you thought you ever would achieve. Okay. 
he you know this is um this is going back to um i think what we said originally with uh people people make their own their own way in life yes. and what they do is up to them it's not up to anybody else okay. okay so I'm gonna say most women like flowers but you really like flowers <laughs> <laughs> I never considered myself a flower person mm -hmm. but I like there's I like some flowers yeah. Yeah. And and um, it's saying here that they don't have to be like pretty, pretty flowers. Yes. It could be like a bulrush or, um, you know, a fern or something like mm -hmm. that. Something yes. that's more down to nature. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. You need to get out in the woods and go picking some flowers, Kathy. This is what they're saying yeah. here. Yeah. I get a lot of that. Yeah. He said you, you feel the best in nature. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. So I, I have this older woman here and she was bedridden for quite a long time before she passed. Would you understand who that would be? Sounds like my grandma. Yeah, okay. Um so she definitely is here and she's <clears throat> she's sitting here, she's watching over you. So I just want to point her out to you. So there she is there. And this is the bed that she's in. Mm -hmm. And this is the horse here. Oh. Okay. So, okay. Yeah, pictures really yes. do appear. Yes. Okay. So what she's saying is she had a lot of time to think about things when she was bedridden. Yes. And um, she said uh, the quiet time gave her the opportunity to realize that, you know, when you pass, you still, you still truly are here. She wasn't afraid of passing. What she didn't like was leaving people behi behind, okay, that were dear and near to her and that people that she was truly looking after. Would you understand that? Yeah. Okay. All right. So she said, it's not that I wanted to leave, dear. She said, it's just my time to leave. She raised me. Oh, okay. Okay. Her and my grandpa. Okay. Me. Okay. So yeah, she's very, very, very close to you. Um, she said she will always be around you when you need her. Mm -hmm. She said to call on me when you need me. But she said your progression in life has been fantastic to this point and it will continue. She said I'm so proud of you that I don't really need to be here all the time because I've given <laughs> you um, a lot, yes. a lot of myself. Yes. Okay. All right. Okay, it's funny. I, I see a I see a like a little boy peeking through a window. Um, this would have been when your grandmother was ill, just looking through the window and and being afraid to come in and talk to her. Would you understand that? A uh, little boy. Well, a young man. Oh, I don't know about that. Yeah. Okay. This is what she's saying. She said, sometimes when you pass or you're in the progress of passing, people are afraid to come in and talk to you. They're yes. afraid to, you know, to just to say how, how you're doing. And, mm -hmm. and um, you know, they're afraid to tell, tell you about what their day is like. Yes. And so she said, I just want you to um, go forward with that. And if anybody is in that position passing in the family, try to educate the other people in the family as to yes you can still come and see this person okay, okay. Oh, yeah she's put a lot on your shoulders here okay so I'm just gonna put a little bit more tea in here see that there okay so I want you to do the same thing swish it around again and then pour it out All of it? Yep, and then tip it upside down again. Okay. Whoa. You have uh, quite a lot going on here, Kathy. Okay. 
Okay. <laughs> Not that I think I do. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's um. Like this is telling me that you've come through. You've come through a huge, huge emotional turmoil. This probably would oh, be yes. from your son passing, and not only that, it's from everybody else kind of like getting down on you as well. Yes. So this is what it's it's saying, and it's saying that. Um, so this was in the past, right? This mm -hmm. side of the cup is genuine in the past, and it's saying you. <clears throat> Now you realize going forward, you don't need that stuff. So you're cutting those people off. Yes. Yeah, you're cutting them off. And that's good, he said, because you need a clean slate. And this is what we've given you is a clean slate here to work with. Hmm. So okay. that's, uh, yeah, that's, that's all that's in here. It's all on that one side, that definite emotional side. Emotional turmoil. Trauma, mm -hmm. yes, it has mm -hmm. been. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I see somebody with a fishing rod and fishing. My brother does. Okay, okay. Or one of my brothers, anyways. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's got a hat on. Not mm -hmm. a base, not a baseball cap, but a hat. And I see there's a hat. Quite. Um, he when he when he goes fishing, actually, with anything in his life, when he's he focuses on something, he's determined. Yes. Yeah, when he wants to get something, he's determined to get it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, that sounds like him. Okay, all right. So um, he's just, he's been quite a big um, factor in this turmoil that went on in your life. It's like he's, I want to say he's like more of a protective factor here. The protector factor would be more like my br my other brother. My other brother. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So there was one leaning over you trying to help. That would sound like more like my older brother. Okay. Okay. But I definitely see the one with the who likes to go fishing here. Yeah, that's my other one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. At least he used to. I don't know when the last time it was he went. Yeah. So this isn't like kind of the past here mm -hmm. yeah and I don't see any of them having anything negative in your life in the future because mm -hmm. you've made it that way yes okay all right I think that's pretty much done it do you need um, do you have any questions no but I've My son has come to me a few times. Okay. Yep. And uh, <laughs> he showed, I don't know if it just happened what he was showing me mm -hmm. or he's just showing me the scene when it happened. When he met his, <laughs> when he met his grandpa. Oh my goodness. Um. <laughs> It was just he, just the expression on my son's face mm -hmm. of such surprise mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> because mm -hmm. I, I I don't remember my my dad yeah but when he met mm -hmm. when my biological dad introduced himself to Ben mm -hmm. over there on the other mm -hmm. side. <laughs> The expression on Ben's face is just <laughs> so much like Ben with his eyes and yeah. his demeanor. Yeah. It was, he was kind of like shocked. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. my son says to me, he looks like you, mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> and it was my dad, um, yeah. my biological yeah. dad, who, yeah. who introduced himself mm -hmm. to Ben and he said to Ben, I am your white grandpa. Oh. I am your mom's mom. Yeah. And my son just stood there. Oh, <laughs> these were big eyes. Oh. And such surprise. That yeah. Mm -hmm. He said he looks just like you, mom. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Other than that, um, I don't know. I've just the usual questions of. Oh, where is it? 
but not not my body movements um just my intuition mm -hmm. i wanna romance nope where is it laughter nope okay well maybe it's not there um i just want to i don't know where i'm to look for a new place is it going to come to me or do i have to go look for it I don't know. Let's let's just do a. Is that? Let's just do a little that? bit of of here, okay? Oh, okay. So it's not. I just no, it's not in there. Oh, anything. okay. So if so it's I not want in you there, to then. shuffle the cards, and we'll see. We'll oh. see what else we can come up with, okay? Oh, okay. Yeah. This is kind of just a little aside to what we've done, but. Oh. Okay. You, you Sorry. have the time, do you? Uh, yeah, I have okay. some time. Good. Okay. Okay. All right. So just I want you just to spread out the cards, and. Um, Give me five until you tell you when to stop. Oh, I do have a question for Ben. Okay. Um, one, how's one more, and that's it. That's good. I want to know how thunder is on the other side. Oh man, I just have an, a vision. I just have a vision of a dog. Nope. I'm not too sure what thunder is, but a big dog came in. Nope. There's a big dog. No. I don't know, he's not Thund saying. Thunder's a cat. Yeah, so no, he's not oh, saying. Okay. But I did have a big dog that came through, just bounded through. I don't know. Yeah, all right. Okay, so we'll go here first. Okay, look inside yourself. So look inside yourself, that means that if you want something, you have to go out and get it. So okay? I have to look for that. Yeah, thing. yep. All right. So that pretty well answers my question. Yeah, and that follow your dreams. So yeah. You need to do it. Okay. And stand in your ground. You what you've done before, but you know if you want to, if you want something, you need to stand your ground, and you need to not be pushed around by anybody in okay. in doing it, right? Or in, in getting out of the situation you're in now, like you know your damage deposit or whatever. You do just need to stand your ground on that. Okay. And make a measure of nature, and this is where he's come back. He said, "If you want something, ask us to help you with it." <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. All right. So, um, in the making the music is yeah, you you start with a little tone, little note, and then you go up the scale with the notes. So he said, "Start looking now, right? Start passively looking and see what you can come up with." Okay. And here, yes, definitely new opportunity. Okay. So, yeah, it's coming and it's up to you. And I have to look for it. Yes. I have to go up and look for it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and so the, oppo the opportunity will be there. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, right. No, I think that's about it. It was nice. Thank you, my son. Okay. I'm sorry Thunder didn't come in. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. Okay. That's okay. So I'm going to um, ask Benjamin and Harvey uh, to go and spread its love and light, and I'm thanking them for coming to see us today. Okay, so thank you for the opportunity for letting me give you this video reading, Kathy. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. And it was a, a great day. Let's <laughs> yes, give it you was. a hug. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, thank you, Jen. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So just um, go to uh, my website, thekiwiconnection.net, and you'll see this video and several other videos. And blessings to you and blessings to all who have watched this video. Thank you. Oh, mine disappeared, so <laughs> I might not have got any, any recording. Mine kind of flipped inward there. Oh. Oh.